So I was browsing Facebook Marketplace like I often am want to do, and I stumbled across an amazing deal on a John Deere Z445. So I've been looking for a mower for quite a while because I really need something to mow my yard with that's not too much of a project. And this mower looked to be just the ticket for that. So we made the trip out there the next day and we got rained on. And on the way back, one of the straps came off, but thankfully the mower did not come off. It is the next day now, and here is the John Deere Z445 in all its glory. This deal came up, I think it was Friday night. The guy was asking $700 for it, which was an absolute steal. I thought the price might be wrong. I checked, it wasn't. He was just trying to get rid of it. I offered him $800 if he would hold it for me till the next afternoon, a Saturday afternoon. And uh, it worked out well for him because he was trying to sell his house. It gave me time to get out there. He actually sold his house like 20 minutes before I got there. So it worked out great. The mower seems to be in really good condition. John Deere 445 with a 54 inch cut deck. I've got a Kawasaki engine. I think it's a 25 horse. It doesn't say on here, but I believe it's a 25 horse. 287.6 hours. So it doesn't have too many hours and he maintained things pretty well. He already changed out the uh, transmission fluid and filters, I believe this year. He gave me the bottle of the leftover transmission fluid. He changed the oil and filter and dated it and stuff like that. So I think he took care of his equipment, perhaps um, a little bit better than I took care of my equipment. So that's a good sign. And overall, it doesn't look bad. Blades look like they could be replaced. That's okay. I'm super excited to have have this mower and I think this may end up being my personal mower for a while. This thing starts and runs good. You guys want to hear it? We need to get it unloaded anyway. All right, I mowed for like 30 seconds there, knocked the GoPro over, and that thing is gonna cut the yard really quick. I think the deck may be slightly off level. Not 100% sure, it could just be blades. I probably should get a new set of blades for it pretty soon, but I'm probably gonna mow the yard first the way it is, and then uh, invest more money into it. I did hear a little bit of a, a squeak or something. It could have just been belts. Um, I'll probably try to throw the grease gun on all the spindles before I mow with it, but that's fun. I'm so excited to have this thing. <laughs> Does it show? All right, well, I got a new set of blades for the Z445 because it just didn't seem like it was cutting quite right and it wasn't cutting perfectly level. So I am hopeful that new blades will fix that. And if not, we will be trying to adjust the deck. So the mower is running a little bit lean, par partially probably because the carburetor's an aftermarket carburetor, but I do have the original carburetor because the owner sent it out to get cleaned at a, a lawnmower repair shop and he actually mailed it to me after I purchased the mower because he didn't have it on hand at the time. So that was really nice of him and I may need to actually put that carburetor in here um, fairly soon. But today I really just want to get the yard mode. I had this issue last time I um, went to fire it up. My um, fuel filter is going dry on me. Uh, let's see if we can get this fuel primed up in there and see if we can get this thing running. Four inch deck is about the maximum I can fit in here. That is tight. So I found this old chain here. That might be perfect for holding my um, chute up and out of the way when I'm mowing because I don't like my chutes down because it seems like they clump up the grass too much. Especially if your deck does cover the top of your blades. I'm not as concerned about having my chute up, especially with it in that position, kind of shielding a little bit back from coming back on the operator. Next up is getting these blades replaced. Here are the new blades right here. I don't know why John Deere tends to use this funky design that's kind of dropped down from the center spindle. Like why does it bend both directions from that center hole? Let's get these blades on there. Got the impact here. Yeah, I don't think new blades is gonna hurt it any. They're not super bent, which is concerning me a little bit because 
I was getting some unevenness from one spindle to the next. I was really hoping to put new plates on here would clean it up. I don't want to have to shim it with washers and stuff, but... Alright, all the blades are on there, and unfortunately none of the old blades look that bad. So they all look pretty straight. I guess at this point all that remains is to uh, get it back down and see how it cuts. I'm really hoping that fixes the problem, but I'm afraid that it won't. So we'll see how it goes. So the mower ran pretty lousy. But I do have that other carburetor, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw that carburetor on here this morning and uh, see if that runs any better. It was really nice of the owner to actually mail this to me after I bought it. Yeah, this should be good to go. And I'm very hopeful that this fixes any issues that we have. See how long it takes to do this. That took like 20 minutes just to get down to the carburetor. These John Deere's are not really um, easy to work on. I had to get the side fender kind of partially removed. I had to take this muffler shield off. Air filter housing of course is off. And uh, there's the intake manifold. I'm noticing it's kind of dirty down here. So I think he ran this carburetor for quite a while. Now I just need to disconnect the carburetor, slide this puppy out, and uh, we will need to reuse the gaskets in this situation, and hopefully nothing tears or anything like that. It really felt like it was misfiring under load yesterday. Not quite sure what would cause that, unless it's like a weak spark plug or something, which that could be. If like a maintenance kit was put on there, sometimes those come with cheap spark plugs. Get this thing back together and uh, see if it runs better. Well, kudos to Kawasaki for doing their part to make these carburetors easy to take out, linkage-wise anyway. But yeah, these plastic clips make it pretty easy to get the linkage off instead of trying to pull the carburetor out and bend it around to undo a hook. It's just a straight 90 degree leg and then like a secondary clip in here. Like the hook goes in there and then you just snap the rod down in that, that little spot right there. Just kind of comparing these carburetors a little bit. Major differences on the float bowl. I'm very hopeful that the shop actually did a good job cleaning this. It's just a little dusty now. And I don't really want to mess with the carburetor right now. It's not exactly my strength, although I do mess with them a lot. And uh, I'm gonna reassemble. I may blow some carb cleaner through these easy to get to passages. Yeah, I may as well do that. So basically I sprayed in this side through these little holes there. And it comes out over here on the far side through some even tinier holes that you can't see. When you spray it through, you should be able to see it come out. Okay, now the rod's in, and then you swing this back over, it snaps on to the rod. So now the rod is in place, and you just have to bring the spring up and hook it right about there. Okay, so the choke is on. And there you have it. The throttle and choke are hooked back up. And uh, let's get back to time lapse and get this thing back together. I hope it runs way better. It's probably gonna need to crank a little bit to um, get fuel into the carburetor.
you can hear it in the background, it still doesn't sound perfectly normal, but it definitely has the power it needs now when I kick the blades on. There is definitely some drag from the blades kept starting out, so it may need a little grease in the spindles, I'm not sure. But there's always going to be some drag when you try to get those blades going. Especially new blades with a full weight and everything. But it's not smoking, so that's good. So I'm going to try it out and see how it mows. Well, a couple things to note. I waited way too long to cut my grass. The mower's running pretty well, cutting pretty well. I'm not noticing too much unevenness in the cut other than the fact that the grass was just so long, so I'll have to keep them, keep monitoring that. And yeah, the decks on these John Deere's don't go very high. I had this in my transport height when I was cutting it, and it's still in like that tall. So I think I need to try to figure out a way to adjust the deck up higher so that I can actually use my height settings, because right now they're kind of pointless, because I don't like to scalp my lawn, I like to cut it a little longer, kind of give the good grass a little bit better chance to grow. Obviously if I cut the yard more frequently that's also good, but that happens. It was kind of later in the season and I just kind of let it go because I got out of the habit of mowing. But anyway, yeah, it seems to be cutting good and uh, we've got a lot more grass to cut. I thought the video was done, but I decided I'd go ahead and grease up my spindles. See if that helps the PTO kick on easier. And I noticed that there's no no grease soak on this one. That one was fine. I greased it up. The middle one had this little spring sticking out the top, so the grease soak had fallen apart. So I replaced that. Now I'm back to the original side, and it doesn't look like there's a whole lot here. I took this cover off. See if there's some threads in here. There should be some threads. But man, I wonder my um, blades were hard to kick on. The spindles have not good grease in them. I'm going to try to clean as much crud out as I can and then I'm going to try to see if I can get something screwed back in here. And while we're down here, I'm thinking I may want to raise up the front of my deck so I'll probably just do an equal amount of turns on both sides since I don't really think it's unlevel. And I may even come back here and try to do the back side a little bit and then maybe beyond that I may go to a level concrete area and see if I can level it because that would make me a lot happier with this mower if I fix those issues. Okay, so I tried to pick out what I could easily and then I tried to flush it out with a little bit of penetrating oil. Try to see if I can get anything back out of there. I could use carb cleaner or something, but I figured this is better. I'll put a hose on my grease gun to get there. Let's see if I have my box or my grease gun somewhere. There it is. Oh yeah, here it is, sweet. Sweet! How do you know? These projects are kind of going my way today, it feels like. The reason I like the hard pipe instead of the hose is that you can just do it one-handed. When you use the hose, then you kind of have to use the second hand to get it on there. Sweet, all right. So that is greased up. I'll try to wipe that grease off. We are rolling. Okay, so for this deck, I'm going to try to do equal numbers of turns on both of these and um, bring them way up. Probably close to the end of that threaded rod there on both of these, but I'm going to try to count my turns so that I do the same on both. So I'm going to back off the back nuts and um, then I'm going to just keep tightening the front ones and try to do equal amount on both. Is it a three quarter? Ah, three quarter is a little big. Is it a 17? 17 is a little small. Is it an 18? Close enough. Ow. You didn't see that happening, did you? Hey, it got free though. Okay. I need a ratchet that fits around a solid object and we'll ratchet it off. One, two, three. Okay, I think I just did about 35.
one extra on this side because I thought this side was a little bit lower. Put the jam nuts back on there. So I just went to pick up the deck for um, moving it and I noticed an immediate issue. I can no longer get the deck into transport mode. It won't quite walk. So I need to let it down at least a little bit. All right, we got it on some concrete now. There's no cracks under the mower on the concrete, so it should be a good spot. That deck looks nice and high now. I think it's probably mostly the front that I did and uh, I may have done the front too much. So let's uh, get the tape measure out and see what we got. Okay, so I got it to where it measures about the same on both sides, um, and I'm measuring to the end of my blade tip, not the deck, off the concrete on both sides. And it's really close, just over four and a half inches at full height. I don't know how the front to back tilt on the deck is gonna affect me. So let's say I actually wanna mow at what this says is three and, I don't know, three. Not sure how that works. For my deck height, that looks really tall. <clears throat> So I think I'm gonna be able to actually use my deck adjustments now. And I don't care that these match actual real life. I'll, I'll get a feel for it. So I think I've raised my deck by about an inch. So now my front is gonna be higher than my back. We'll find out if that's an issue or not. Right. I think that was pretty successful. The deck seems to be level from right to left, which was the major concern. And I have a lot better height control. I can go up higher where I want to be. Greasing those spindles, I think really helped also. The deck is pretty quiet. The PTO kicks off and on easier. The mower seems to have plenty of power. It's definitely cutting better than it was. I think this is gonna be a great mower to um, free up my time around here and keep the yard looking nice. Welcome to John Deere Z445 to the family. Do I recommend buying one of these mowers? Not necessarily, but if you find a great deal like I did, then yeah, go for it. And as always, guys and gals, stay safe, keep making stories, and we'll catch you on the next one.